So to send over a string was kind of a meh. Now we kind of have access to our post request, but I want to send up over a real customer now. So let's try and build a request that actually passes a customer from JSON and sends it over to a C-sharp object in the REST API. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to go and figure out how we actually make JSON code. So to make JSON, which is, if you go to JSON org, you can go and read that JavaScript object notation, that's actually what JSON stands for. And as we scroll down, this is how you create an object in JSON. It's very, very basic. Uh, we go in and we start out by putting in a curly bracket to explain now an object will begin. Then we go in and put in a name for some property and then a colon and then a value for that property. So think of this, a name value pair is some, sometimes what I call it. Um, it's actually some kind of property that has some kind of value here, right? So that's kind of the goal of of these two guys right here. And then you put a comma and you put in a new one, comma, new property, comma, new property. So if it was a customer, this would be first name, colon, last, right? We're going to do that in a second. Another thing you can use in JSON is arrays. So I can put in an array of customers by actually adding like a customer here, which then would then be a full object, doing a comma, putting in a new full object, etc., etc. And I could actually keep going with objects and objects and objects as far down as I wanted to go. The last thing you need to know for, about JSON before we start writing it is you have these types of information in JSON. You, have, you can have strings, numbers, objects and arrays. These are the objects and the arrays we just talked about. And then the Boolean values and a null value if you want that as well. So sweet, let's try and actually create a JSON object. And if we go to our code, the one I want to build right now is going to be a customer object. So I'm going to just grab this information for now. That's definitely not JSON, but it's just to show you guys how you create the JSON object inside Postman. So first of all, let me just paste that in that I just wrote. I'm just going to use it for reference so you guys can see how closely related it is actually. It said I had to start out with curly brackets to make a new object. So there we go, that's the new customer object I'm building right here. That's what the curly brackets represent. Then I need to put in my first property, which is going to be ID, a colon, and then if it's a number, I shouldn't put in quotation marks. So I'll put in one for the ID. I'll do a comma, and again, each property is inside quotation marks. So a new quotation mark, and this time I'm going to talk about the first name, and that's going to be an actual string. So I have to put the first name inside quotation marks, and I'll write last. I'll do a comma again, again quotation marks for the last name. It's very simple, right? Colon, and I'll put in builder here. So there we go. Now I actually added all the information like the object has down here, and that's actually a JSON object now. It can be a lot more complex than this, but let's just start with this for now. If I do, whoops, if I do a send right now, it wouldn't help me because in the backend, we still only know about the, the symbol string type. So now we have to go to the backend, the REST API, to our values controller, and we have to change the from body from being a string to actually being a real customer business object.